Here we are at 3005 Liverpool, right here in Spring Hill slash Thompson Station. Um, great neighborhood. Um, really, really love this neighborhood. Brick construction homes, nice big lots, quiet neighborhood. We've got snow flurries here today in Middle Tennessee. 37 with a wind chill of 20 something. Uh, it's chilly outside today, but this is just such a great home. I love the contrasting brick on this home. I love the difference uh, in the brick from the other homes on both sides of it that are the red brick. Um, I really like that about this house a lot. So let's go inside and take a look and see what 3005 Liverpool looks like on the interior. And uh, we'll finish up on the outside as well. Coming up here, nice big rocking chair, front porch. Um, nice aggregate um, stone walk up here and you've got these shutters nice front door might want to update that um, a little bit old school and we've got hardwood throughout the house just a lot a lot of hardwood in this house um, we've got that office just to the right or it could be a formal dining room as you walk in um, here's that inlay work in the floor um, with different colors of the uh, hardwood flooring I'm not sure, you know, how much of a issue that is to replace, but if that's not your taste, um, you can you can put some more hardwood flooring down there, I would imagine, or it might be something you say to yourself, okay, we can live with that. So right up above the entrance is the second floor landing there. You've got two closets right here on the right um, to the, just, you know, inside the entrance here. You've got a coat closet. And then you have over here another closet that's much deeper for storage. And there's lights, in, there's a light in that one as well. And then um, you've got this dining room right here. So what I just said could be a dining room is probably just gonna be an office or a bonus room or a den or something like that. You've got the plantation shutters in here. They are um, actual wood uh, or they're faux plastic wood looking plantation shutters, but not in bad shape at all. And then um, you walk in here and we've got um, the main living room to the right here. We've got a, a change in wood tone right there entering as, as we head into that room over there. You've got this darker wood border here in this hardwood flooring area. And then you've got this kind of rectangular, I don't know what you would call that shape. Um, I'm not good at geometry, but it's there kind of marking where your dining table is. Um, it's kind of cool, um, something different. And then here is that main living area with the old school recess for the CRT TV. Um, and you can, you can fix that up. You can, you can coat over that, um, put a flat wall down, um, box the fireplace in differently and mount a TV on that wall for sure. Nice marble fireplace, gas fireplace. Love, I do like the marble. I wouldn't switch that out at all. Um, so standing right here in the corner of the house and we got some window seal issues here. Um, these are eventually going to be need to need to be replaced. They're not horrible. Um, there's just some fogging going on. It's very very cold here in Tennessee today. We've got the heat can't cranked up today. The uh, home inspection is actually going on today, so um, there is a you know a little bit of moisture on those windows. But it's very cold today, as I said. So um, there's no frost on those windows or anything like that. Um, just some seals that are going to need to be replaced, or the uh, windows need to be replaced at some point. So the rest of the downstairs is right here. You got that kitchen. I, like I said, there's a lot of wood in this house. Um, a lot of solid construction here. Um, can be painted, can be replaced, whatever you want to do with it. Um, this is a food, this is a pantry right here in that eating area, that breakfast nook area. This big pantry right here. Um, a lot of food storage opportunity there. And nice looking out the backyard right here. Really big deck, which was really cool for me to see earlier. Um, old school Formica countertops here. Uh, old school wood, count, uh, wood, really solid wood construction. I mean, I love that about this house. Um, so a lot to work with here. Old school sink, um, you might put something more modern in there. I don't know, it just depends on what you're uh, looking, going after. And then we head over here to the garage area. We have got um, bathroom over there. Um, and then we've got a bedroom back here. Great bedroom for guests um, back here off of the kitchen, completely separate from the rest of the house. Um, good size bedroom, with just this uh, good deep walk-in closet actually. 
And then you've got that bathroom over there, that guest bathroom for this um, guest bedroom back here. Uh, folks come to stay with you. It's very, very convenient. It's um, first floor, especially if you've got older folks who are coming to stay with you. So that will definitely help um, with them with the transition. And um, so yeah, that's that's this bedroom right there. We go. We got some light on the on the on that full bathroom. And um, so there you go. And then of course we got the the garage right over here. Two steps down. Garage door is open right now. Chris is doing his thing for the home inspection right now. Some shelving units in there. Uh, water heater over in the corner. Looks pretty old, um, but it's in good shape. Um, yeah, it looks pretty old, but in good shape. It does have the expansion tank on it. So I could be wrong. Um, the expansion tank up there has been added recently or this water heater has been updated uh, fairly recently. So I could be wrong on the date there. Um, electrical panels right here in the garage. Um, looks good, looks clean. Hopefully they'll leave the, the, the beer signs for you. Just kidding. Um, you'll, they got a great uh, great room upstairs. They had a pool table up there and they, they had like a man cave up there. So there's actually three steps down into the garage, not two. I apologize. I was wrong. First time in my life I've ever been wrong. Don't believe that. Definitely not true. Like every other minute I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, let's go see uh, the rest of the house inside. And then we'll head out and take you out back there so you can see what's up there. So the heat's cranking. Uh, it's set at uh, 72 and it's at 70 right now. It feels good in here. Man, it's a cold day outside. Uh, going upstairs. Got the wood railings, got the wainscoting going all the way upstairs. That's a great addition, right? That's not typical. Typically just drywall. We've got woodwork going all the way upstairs. Top of the steps, you've got the landing that we talked about. And then over here, you've got a bedroom. Just to the top of the landing. Sorry about that, my gimbal is not cooperating at the moment, so I'm gonna stretch it a little bit, there we go. So this is just to the left at the top of the steps. with a walk-in closet. How about that? Whole house, same color paint. Got Berber carpet. And your master's right here on the right. At the top of the steps, you turn right, and that's your master bedroom. Double coffered ceiling, really nice, like the woodwork. Big master. And then your master bath. With a jetted tub. And a stand up shower. And your commode closet. And a big closet, big walk-in closet. A lot of room in here, a lot of room. You got both sides, a lot of room. It's a good size closet. And then uh, the his and her sinks. And then the, uh, the linen closet right here. All right. Rest of the bedrooms. Dual thermostats, heat's cranking. Yeah, 772, it's 66 up here right now. Bedroom three on the left here. Walk-in closet, bedroom three. Big walk-in closet. 
fan's cranking. Turn that off. Full bath right across the hall from bedroom three. Young guy in the mirror does not come with the house. All right, laundry room just next to that. The cabinets in it. Nice, nice. Another linen closet right there in the hall across from the laundry room. All right, and then this great room. It's big, 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 big great room. Standing in the doorway. Standing in the shadows of love. That was really bad. But you got it, because I'm your realtor. This is all one great room, right? And then it goes back into the corner back here, too. The blue wall. They like blue. Hopefully they're not Michigan fans. If they are, I'm sorry. So I'm right in the corner of the great room. And you got a closet over there. We'll visit that in a second. You can see that light fixture down there that's hanging down. They had a pool table there. And they had a surround sound system in here. There's still a couple of speakers hanging that they left you because they love you. And then here's that little storage area. There's some labels on for stuff in here. Uh, action comedy. Okay, so we know what that was. That was DVD storage in there. Anybody remember DVDs? Had a whole DVD library stored in there. I do like this. We've got the TV mount low because we've got that window there, which is something I don't typically see. And then we've, you know, we've got that little corner nook right there like we talked about. And then um, just hanging like cool looking ceiling fan. Uh, we've got a lot of windows up here. Oh man, your next door neighbors have a pool. That's so cool. And you make friends with them. They got new, that's a brand new pool and fencing and very well done. Wow, you have to let me know who did that pool because I want to get a pool for my house. I really like that setup. That is stellar, guys. Wow, that's going to be amazing. Make friends with them. Gets hot and humid here in Tennessee. You want to go swimming, right? See, there's the, uh, the pool table marks down there. Um, you can see that. I'm not sure what they had here. I guess it was a sectional, maybe. It's just marks in the carpet. The carpet doesn't need to be replaced or anything. It just needs to be vacuumed up. And it's just stuff's been in here quite a long time, you know. And then over here, you have got um, an attic access. And you've got a little bit of storage here. And a light switch. It goes back. you actually got quite a bit of storage here. You've got carpet on the floor. No insulation in here. But you've got plenty of storage for the Christmas stuff if you need it. Alrighty, let's go see the exterior. All right, let's go outside. Composite decking material, better than wood, they say. Wrought iron railings. It's a big multi-level deck. We got some built-in flower boxes over there. We got uh, the gated wrought iron fence. A little garden box right here they left you. So somebody was a, had a green thumb. We got some uh, French drainage, which I like. We need to get a cap on that and push it out from the foundation a little bit more. They had some dogs that kind of poked their head through this wrought iron fencing. So they put some like snow fence there, black snow fence to try and keep the gaps down, I guess, or something. And you got the basketball hoop there and the really big aggregate driveway. And you got more French drains over there. I like that. There's your 
like through. That's that great room up there. All right, I'm in the corner of this diagonally uh, kind of shaped yard. Your neighbor has the wood fence. I wish they had gone with the rod iron, but they don't want you looking in their pool. But you can from the second floor. Nice big yard, I can see why you love this. And I like it too, because it drains away from the house. All the water drains away from the house. We've got somebody living here, or something happened there. I'm not sure what was there. Uh, maybe, I don't know if anything was living there. I apologize for that. It's just a couple of ditches in the ground. Maybe they had something there, and when they left, they, they had to dig it out a little bit or something. That's what, kind of what it looks like. So your neighbor has a pineapple corner post there. And then here's underneath the deck with River Rock. And um, such. There's your crawl space door over there on the far left. More French drains, pushing water away. I can see why we wanted this house. This is a good house. I feel really good about this house. All the way in the corner. A lot of yard to work with. HVAC over there. Your neighbors right here with a single level. Directly behind you. Alrighty guys, there you have it. 3005 Liverpool, nice home here in Spring Hill slash Thompson Station, Tennessee.